Hello, my name is Jeffrey Parker. I'm a senior technical service engineer with Hankel Electronic Materials. I've been working with films and coatings for more than 20 years and have been supporting the Atchison line of printable inks for the electronic industry for over 10 years. Today, I'll be your host for the video on the background and applications of printable inks in the electronics industry. The idea of using printing processes to produce electronic circuitry is certainly not new. Companies have utilized various types of printing methods, such as screen printing, to make symbol membrane switches and keypads for more than 20 years. Using printing processes to build a functioning electronical device is a very attractive option for several reasons. These include increased speed of production, lower cost of manufacturing, and the ability to incorporate printed parts into very flexible form factors. In this video, we will explore options and best practices in printed circuitry inks, including the options and applications available. The sections include inks and formulations, types of printed strategies, and industry applications. Different types of inks have been developed to suit the diverse needs of various printed electronic markets. There are many types of conductive pigments used today. However, the most commonly used are silver and carbon. Silver is the most electrically and thermally conductive of all the metals. One of the most attractive and unique properties is the conductivity of silver oxide, which is nearly equal to pure silver. Most metals form an oxide which is far less conductive than their base metal. The highly conductive silver oxide makes it an attractive material where conductivity between fine inner particles is critical for the conduction of electricity. Carbon inks, or carbon and graphite blends, are also used across the entire field of printed electronics. Carbon inks are typically three orders of magnitude less conductive than silver. They are, however, far less expensive, resulting in an ink that is much lower in cost. Dielectric inks also play a vital role in the structure of printed electronic circuitry. They provide environmental protection to the printed conductive trace, eliminate shorting when used in multi-layered printing, and add flexibility to the circuitry. These features allow the designer and the manufacturers to construct more complex multi-layer circuitry, requiring less space, making electrical devices smaller and lighter. These inks can also minimize silver migration for applications where moisture comes into direct contact with the circuit. Here we will discuss the three most common printed circuitry strategies, flat screen printing, flexography, and rotogravure. Each technology in use today incorporates some type of interconnect with other electronic components, such as conductive adhesives or solder joints to connect the various parts of the devices. Surface mount technology, or SMT, is required for the majority of applications where devices such as LEDs and passive components are added to a printed circuit. This hybrid approach of printed electronic circuits is the predominant strategy used today and will likely be the preferred methodology for some time to come. Flatbed screen printing is the oldest type of printing method. It dates back to China 800 years ago. This type of printing is one of the most versatile and widely used printing methods available today. Types of screen printers vary by application and throughput rates and include clamshell, four post, and a unique design known as a cylinder press. Flexographic or flexo printing is a type of letterpress printing that uses an imaged flexible polymer plate attached to a cylinder. Ink is placed into a reservoir which comes into contact with a pickup or fountain roll. The ink is then transferred to an analog roll, which then transfers to the image plate. The image plate then comes into contact with the substrate, creating a printed circuit. Rotogravure printing is similar to flexography. The difference between the two methods is how the image is printed. Unlike the polymer image plate used in flexography, gravure printing uses an imaged metal roll that is in direct contact with the ink. 
The image is generated by etching recesses in the pattern of a desired design directly into the roll. When the roll is placed in the ink reservoir, the recessed cavities become filled with ink. Excess ink is removed with the doctor blade. When the roll contacts the substrate, the ink is transferred, thus printing an image. The amount of ink that can be deposited using gravure printing ranges from less than one micron to tens of microns in a single pass, making this a versatile printing method. The history of using inks for printed electronics has been very dynamic. We have seen the evolution of printed inks in the replacement of many traditional circuit elements. One spectacular development has been a successful replacement of etched copper circuits with very simple printed membrane switches. This is just one example of how printed circuits reduce cost, minimize size, and weight. Advances in printed electronics make the phones, tablets, and computers we all use today more affordable and accessible to everyone.